In this episode, we are going to visit the unexplored land of Iowa. We'll see the bridges of Madison County and the amazingly beautiful state capital. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Crossing the Missouri River, we are now in Iowa, and we're gonna spend most of the day here. Now going east on State Route 92. Iowa so far? Beautiful. Very green. I was not expecting that. Actually, I was expecting Iowa to be a lot flatter, and it is kind of like rolling hills. Idea today, first, is to take the Covered Bridges Scenic Byway and see some of the bridges of Madison County, made famous in part by a book of the same name and moreover by the 1995 movie starring Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep. And here we are, this is where the pavement ends. And first we're going to see the Roseman Bridge, perhaps the most famous one. These dead ends always make me nervous, but it looks like there's room to turn around. Mm, barely. No, it seems to be a popular spot. Besides being famous for the movie, the bridges are historically significant, actually part of the National Registry of Historic Places. Aside from facilitating travel, settlement, commerce and expansion, they were also known at one time as kissing bridges, because there were places where young couples could secretly meet and kiss. Oh, the things one learns on the internet. Well, Roseman Bridge here, of course, very prominently featured in that movie, The, the Bridges of Madison County, with Clint Eastwood and, uh, and Meryl Streep, and uh, Clint Eastwood's character, he was a photographer and uh, my namesake, by the way, Tokayo Roberts, uh, he would probably agree with me that it is probably the worst time of the day for photography. It is almost high noon, still really cool to be here. It kind of looks different than I remember it from the movie, but... Let's continue. By the way, some of the bridges are only accessible by these pretty well-maintained unpaved roads. This is some of the most picture-perfect countryside I've seen in a while. Having a nice sunny day certainly helps, but it is almost as if they go out of their way to even make industrial places look kind of pretty. This is Winterset, the county seat. I'm gonna stop here and maybe have lunch. Well, we're here in the in the famous town of Winterset, and uh, is it the birthplace of, of John Wayne? Very nice 
a beautiful looking courthouse there. Let's try, let's see if we can try and get something to eat. Let's find parking. Mm, nothing here. Hmm, diagonal parking, no good when you're towing a trailer. Here we go, I think I can make it. And that's how you parallel park with the trailer. Hmm, always get out and look. Before we continue, let me introduce you to Harris. And what it is, it is a personal care brand that is reinventing the way we shave. Let me unbox it here for you. It comes with the textured rubber grip, five razor cartridges, the foaming shave gel, and a travel cover for your blades. And this is what happened. The founders, Jeff and Andy, were tired of overpaying for over-designed razors that weren't all that great. And what did they do? They bought a German razor factory so they could provide the craftsmanship they wanted in a simple design. That's exactly what this is. Oh, and the convenience, because you don't have to go to the drugstore, make the line, you know, they deliver right to your doorstep on your schedule. And it is actually an insanely good value with the refill starting at only $2. And uh, they offer a 100% money back guarantee that you will get a, a close and comfortable shave. The razor blade factory in Germany, they've been around for a hundred years and they even give 1% of their sales to organizations that promote mental health. Yep, it is an amazing deal, actually. You'll get everything you need for a close and comfortable shave and you'll be supporting my channel. If you go to harris.com slash travelingrobert, I'll put a link in the description so you can redeem your trial set for only $3 and join the 10 million who have tried Harris. Now, let's go back to winner set. Well, yeah, sometimes you are able to parallel park in the middle of downtown and that's what we've done. Winner set, as picture perfect as the rest of the state so far. Well, here's the, the cafe from that movie, The Bridges of Madison County. Unfortunately, it is closed today. Anyway, here's a peek inside. Built out of native limestone, the courthouse here a very historic building dating back to 1876. Quilt Museum, check that out! There's the courthouse, again from a different angle. Save the clock tower. I think I'm going to eat here. Seems nice. Hmm, soup and sandwich. Kind of small, but really good. Ever wonder why I lose weight when I travel? I often forget to eat, and when I do, it's usually a light meal. One of the main tourist attractions here in Winterset is the John Wayne Birthplace Museum, and I was hoping it would be like his old boyhood home or something like that, but it is just a museum with this sculpture here. Tell you what, today I'm not in the museum mood, so I think I'm going to skip going inside, although apparently they have the largest collection of artifacts, including movie posters and props, and even one of John Wayne's automobiles. Yeah, Stagecoach, one of my favorite. The monument is called Freedom Rock, a tribute to veterans for their service. The idea is for it to be a unique 99-piece mural across Iowa, one of these rocks in every one of the 99 counties in the state. As of 2019, there are 87 of these already. Very cool idea to promote tourism across the state and to honor those who serve the country. Remember old Kia? A yeah, very similar model. Anyways, this is uh, downtown square here in Winterset. Very nice. Uh, I like it. There's the, the courthouse, of course, and uh, there's a bunch of you know restaurants and and shopping. And it's a, it's very well, much alive. It's Northside Cafe. Anyways, let's hit the road. 
There's Minitini. We really need to do a car wash here soon. Minitini is so dirty. Beautiful Iowa. I am just surprised to see so many unpaved roads. There certainly seems to be a pavement shortage in the States. Or maybe Iowans like it that way. Here we are. Another covered bridge. This one is called Hollywell Bridge. It's very similar to the other one. A lot less, um, you know, love letters on the side. Please leave messages on the white bulletin boards only. Of course, not everybody gets the memo. We're going to see one more bridge and then we continue towards Des Moines. Definitely gonna need an RV wash after this. Well, this is gonna be our last bridge here. The Ames Bridge. This one is a little different. The construction seems to be very similar and they are all marked with promises of an ending love and other expressions. This particular bridge very accessible from the nearby town of St. Charles. This last bridge was also very close to the I-35 junction, so to Des Moines we go, which is both the capital and the most populous city in the state, notorious for the number of insurance companies headquartered here. Today we're only gonna have time to do one thing, see the Capitol building, which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful in the whole United States. There seems to be plenty of parking. Let's look for the entrance because this one is definitely gonna be one worth seeing inside. I mean, look at this place. Here we are, public entrance. Let's step in, shall we? They're about to close, I only have 15 minutes to see mainly the house, the senate and the library. Funny how I always manage to arrive late, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, this has got to be, by far, one of the most impressive capital buildings I've ever seen. Dating back to 1886. It is imposing. Majestic. This is the second floor where they have the Senate and the House of Representatives. And they are going to start closing those in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go see them first. <laughs> This here is Iowa's House of Representatives. And by the way, I am taking the self-guided tour. The house ceiling was destroyed in a fire in 1904, so it had to be rebuilt. As we walk around the rotunda, we can see the mural painting westward above the grand staircase. We'll see it closer later on. But now, let's go see the Senate chamber. While the ceiling in the house wasn't original because of the fire, this one is. And there's art everywhere. It's just beautiful, like a lavish palace. Let's see the Iowa State Library, also called the Law Library, which occupies the whole west wing of the second floor, and it contains 100,000 volumes. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
the spiral staircase, everything. Now that we saw the three rooms that were about to close, we can explore the rest at more leisure. And here's a closer look at that westward mural I mentioned earlier. We're gonna go down to the first floor and work our way up from here. Everything is decorated with such an exquisite taste. Here's the old Supreme Court, which was in use until 2003, when they moved it to the new judicial building. These days it is used as a committee room for the House of Representatives, although the elaborate mahogany bench remains. One more stop here at the office of the Secretary of State. Definitely an office with a view, huh? Here they have the Iowa Constitution signed in 1857, and they even took a picture of me with it. And this is the vault. All of our bills in the Senate and House are on that side as well. We have all of them for about the last five years. Mm -hmm. This is the only three-story vault in the building, and I believe the state as well. This is the public viewing area here of the Senate. Definitely a different perspective from up here. Very cool. The mosaics above westward were made in Venice, Italy, from small pieces of colored glass. It looks like they used the Capitol building for photo shoots as well, probably after hours, like right now. Here's the House of Representatives from above. And last but not least, here's a model of the battleship USS Iowa. Let's step outside, and here we encounter a view of the Des Moines skyline from the steps of the Capitol building. Here we have this bronze sundial, dedicated to the Union veterans of the Civil War back in 1938. Here's a sculpture of Lincoln and his fourth and youngest son, Tad. This is the Buffalo Fountain, although isn't that a bison? In any case, it was meant for both horses and humans, and above it, the pioneer of the former territory, a group consisting of father and son guided by a friendly Indian in search of a home. These are just a few of the works of art that adorn the grounds. The most prominent outdoor feature of the building is the Golden Dome, last regilded in 1998 with 23 karat gold leaf, so thin that 250,000 sheets pressed together would only be one inch thick. 
Man, that self-guided tour pamphlet sure was informative. I'm really, really glad I decided to come to the, to the Iowa state capital here in Des Moines. It is one of the most beautiful ones I've seen, for sure. The outside and the inside. Well, change of plan. We're going to Minneapolis. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to see a whole lot more of Iowa on this trip. We'll be back, I promise. I had plans to stay at least another night somewhere north of here, still in Iowa, but it turns out the campground I was thinking of doesn't have a late check-in. So since it is late in the day, I had to think quickly. And I made a reservation somewhere else, about four hours north of here, actually. I don't want to make it a Walmart night, so I've decided we're going to be pushing north for the next few hours, driving into the night, because I've always wanted to see Minneapolis. Ever since the tender years of Beverly Hills 90210 in the early 90s, that's where the Walshes were from. And I want to see the Mall of America and all the other attractions. I've heard it's a great city. And there's also the capital in neighboring St. Paul, and the plan was to continue north anyway. So if we go to Minnesota today, we'll almost be a whole day ahead of schedule. I'm going to cut this one short, you know, keep it short and sweet, because on the next episode, we are going to explore the twin cities of St. Paul and Minneapolis. And then nature throws me a curveball. But more about that on the next episode. Until then, Thank you so much for watching, and see you on the road. Oh, there it is. I'm riding. Riding in my